My name's Buddy, and I'm the Camp Program Supervisor at the Franklin Institute. For today's Spark of Science, let's talk about how boats float with a really fun experiment you can do at home. So right here, I have two pieces of aluminum foil that are basically the same size. With the first one, I'm going to fold it several times over. What do you think might happen if I place it into this bowl of water? Look at that, it sinks. Now with the other piece, I'm going to fold it into the shape of a boat. What do you think might happen when we put this into the bowl of water? Look at that, it floats. This is demonstrating a concept called buoyancy. Buoyancy is an object's ability to float in or on a fluid. The more buoyant an object is, the better it floats. The less buoyant it is, the less it floats. So what makes an object buoyant to begin with? The fluid, in our case water, is pushing the object up. But gravity is also pulling it down based on the object's density. The density of an object is an object's mass versus its volume. Mass is how much stuff an object is made of, and volume is how much space that object takes up. Objects get more dense as you pack more mass into less volume. With our foil sheets, they're all starting with the same mass and volume. In this experiment, we never change the mass, meaning we always have the same amount of foil. However, we did change the volume. By folding our foil several times, it has the same mass, but now takes up less space. So we have made it more dense. Now you may wonder, why didn't I just crumple it into a small ball? That would certainly decrease the volume. So let's give that a try with a third piece of foil. Would you look at that? It floats. That's because when you crumple the foil, there is still air inside. That air is included in the density of the foil ball. Air is much less dense than water. So the overall density of our foil ball is less than water so it floats. However, when I folded the foil, I pushed the air out, leaving just the foil behind. The foil becomes more dense than water, so it sinks. While a foil ball might be fun, it's not very good at holding things, so let's take a closer look at our boat. It's the same amount of foil, but the shape allows us to trap a lot of air inside. Now, we can have some fun trying to add some things, like say, some pennies, to our boat. We can see if our boat can hold some cargo. How many pennies do you think it will take before my boat sinks? Well, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, Six, oh, there it goes. Six pennies cost it to sink. I wonder if you can do better than me. Try making your own foil boat at home and see if you can get it to hold more than six pennies or any other objects you want to try. We would love to see your videos, so feel free to post them on social media and hashtag the Franklin Institute and Franklin at Home. Thanks for joining us on this Spark of Science. See you next.